Audrey Roloff chronicles emotional breastfeeding journey. When it comes to motherhood, Audrey Roloff is doing her best to keep it real. Yes, the little people, big world star is beyond grateful and happy to have given birth to her first child on September 10. But, no, the experience so far has not been easy. Roloff has been an open book when it comes to this unfortunate fact, admitting weeks ago that she was even suffering from bouts of postpartum depression. This was largely linked to a diagnosis of mastitis, which is a condition that makes breastfeeding painful. Like, very painful. Like, so painful that Audrey compared it to natural childbirth. How is she doing these days when it comes to providing sustenance for her daughter? Audrey just updated fans with an emotional Instagram post. I always thought breastfeeding was a choice, it begins. People would often ask me if Elle was going to breastfeed when I was pregnant and Elle always answered with a determined yes. But after Ember was born, Elle realized that for some people, it's not a choice. For some people, the reality star realized, it's too painful to continue doing. My breastfeeding journey has not been easy, she added. After sharing with you all a little bit about the struggles I'll have had feeding Ember, I'll realize that so many of you have gone through, or are currently going through, similar pains, heartaches, and challenges. Audrey drew strength from her faith and from a supportive husband during her lowest times. She went into detail about those times in this post. About 24 hours after Amber was born, Elle became severely engorged. The nurses at the hospital admitted to it being the worst case they'd ever seen. Elle couldn't put my arms at my sides or hold Ember, except to feed, and feeling was so painful because Elle was also badly blistered, bruised, we later found out Ember had a significant lip and tounge tie. Not to mention, what they had to do to get me flowing was excruciating. Elle thought the pain was supposed to be over once they laid her on my chest. But people just don't talk enough about the after labor pains. It's true. People often assume that once a baby is born, the rest is a piece of cake. Physically, at least. Three days after coming home from the hospital, Elle came down with mastitis, Audrey explains. The antibiotics for my infection, stress, Ember's lip and tounge tie, sleep deprivation, and some misguided medical advice caused my milk supply to completely tank. Elle was devastated and even told by a pediatrician and lactation consultant that Elle would probably not ever be able to exclusively breastfeed Ember. She was having trouble gaining weight and they were concerned. They also thought Elle had insufficient granular tissue. Over the past few weeks, Though, as evidenced by an influx of Ember Jean photos, it's clear that things have taken a positive turn. Mum, 
Dad and daughter have figured things out and are doing a lot better. Ending her Instagram note on a positive message, Audrey wrote of the first photo shared above. Here we are two months later and Ember has been exclusively breastfeed for the past five weeks. So much hard work and prayers have come to fruition. This is great news. We're so happy to hear it. Concludes the star. Two days ago L came down with mastitis again. But L was reminded that even though this journey still poses its challenges, being able to feed my daughter from my own body brings me incomparable joy. L will definitely be sharing more about this journey on my blog eventually. But I'll just wanted to share this here and now in case there are other new mamas out there that could be encouraged and filled with hope by my testimony.